Hello, this is part two of my Let's Play Portal. I, my name is Cynic, and we'll continue from where I left off. Hopefully this time the sound will actually be recorded a bit louder, so we won't have any issues. But let's see how it goes. Let's start. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high-energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay. We can see here we have a socket here and we have a pellet dispenser here. We have a portal down here, so we should probably place a portal here. Now that we've got it. Now that we've done this, we should see what we have now. Okay, we have a platform going back and forth, we have some space here we can place the portal on. You can't place the portal on this, so don't try. Place it here, wait, jump down, and we're on the platform. This was test chamber 7, by the way. I apologize if I cough and whatnot during this playthrough as well, but I'm s my throat is still a bit sore. Let's go on. Now, I don't know if any of you have uh, actually been checking out the ARG the artificial reality game by Veil that uh, that's a prelude for Portal 2 uh, it seems like there's actually a second part to it where apparently it hints uh, a possible Half-Life 3 so we'll have to see how that goes please know that we have added a consequence for failure any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. And here we have test chamber 8. Uh, no drinking. Huh. Well, I guess I wouldn't drink this uh, in the first place. A hello portal here, a pillar dispenser here platform and a place we can yeah we need to put the pellet so let's do this and it'll go over here place it here and the pellet will go into the socket here now we need to get over on this platform Let's see, how could we do that? Let's place a portal here, so we'll be here. And there's a radio down there. Place a portal here. And wait for the platform to arrive. Jump. And we're off. Again, a fairly simple puzzle, but unless you're Actually, try to think about it a bit. Hey, a little Very bit. impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yeah. Well, again, it's a fairly simple puzzle, so there's not really all that much to say about it. Speaking of uh, Half-Life 3, the Borealis, uh, as Ship mentioned in Half-Life Episode 2 is hinted to actually be in Portal 2, so, yeah. Might actually be interesting to see if those two games are interconnected somehow. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Nothing is impossible. This is Chest Chamber 9, as, and as um, Gladys hinted at this, test can be pretty difficult if you don't realize what it is you actually have to do. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have a radio up here, we have a 
box here and a portal here. The admission center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. So you'll keep coming with comments like that, but let's take the box, put it up here, and fire a portal in here. If you pass through that field, uh, the portals will close, so we can't go that way. Once again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. It'll also destroy the box, so we can't just... Actually, I'll show you, we can't just do this, because the box will be destroyed. And a new one pops up. So let's just do this. Play the Frankly, ball. this chamber was a mistake. If we were you, we would quit now. Place portal over here. So you'll make different comments depending on how long it takes you. So let's see. Put a box in here and jump through. And that's basically this puzzle. Fairly simple. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. And as you said, it's extreme pessimism. But on to the next puzzle. Let's see, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're actually pretty fast this time. By the way, uh, in relation to the ART, I actually heard that in protest, or at least as a friendly reminder not to do something like this again, a lot of, a lot of uh, fans of um, Rail are actually planning on sending a bunch of potatoes to the headquarters. It would be pretty interesting to see how they re react to that one. On to the next puzzle. Hello again. To reiterate. Something, something, momentum. Well, this is test chamber 10. Let's see, we have a portal here. We can't jump up here. So, what do we do? This. And there we go. And what do we have here? We have a platform here with a portal, a big hole here, and we need to get to the other side. So what do we do? Place a portal down here, jump into it. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. And as you said, this is forward momentum. This is basically using portals to jumping further and, well, falling a further distance and whatnot. We will get more into it later on. There are some pretty interesting puzzle puzzles involving this, me uh, this specific mechanic, and it seems to be the main point of uh, the game, or at least the main point of most of the puzzles. here. We have a portal down here. Radio there. Let's place a portal here. And let's see here. Jump down. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. And that's a pretty de uh, accurate description. If I have to say so myself. Now, we didn't actually reach the other side yet, but now the platform here went out further, so let's place a portal here and jump into the hole again. And we reached the other side. Actually, we spun around as well, that was pretty funny. And onto the next puzzle. Uh, I think I can do this next puzzle as well, but I'm starting to run low on time. Let's see how it goes. I saw game trailers who actually made a ID soft uh, ID software engine video displaying the games they've made over the years in chronicle uh, in chronicle in chronicle order. It's pretty interesting. Uh, quite a fun reminder of what I spent most of my childhood playing. But uh, let's continue to see if I can actually solve this puzzle. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. 
In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Okay, this puzzle is a bit more diffi difficult, so I'll actually wait. Yeah, actually, I'll wait with this one, and I'll tell, uh, show you it in the next video. I apologize for that, but I'm simply running low on time. I'm trying to keep these videos to about 12 minutes apiece. But thank you, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe, uh, subscribe, or, and like the video if you well like the video. And feel free to comment if um, there's something you need, uh, you think I need to work on or improve on, and I'll see if I can do it. Note: comments asking about me to improve my English is probably not going to happen. I'm not that good. But that's it for now. So see you in next video. This was the end of uh, my portal. Uh, Let's play Portal with Cynic, part two. Goodbye.